Hello everyone, so in the beginning I want to thank the K and F concept for sending me this cool filter. Check the links in the description below and use a 5% discount code DEFILTERS05. Good morning everyone, so as you have just seen from the beginning of today's video, today's video is all about a comparison between the Shimmer Diffusion Filter 1 and the Black Mist 1 4th Diffusion Filter. I'm going to show you both filters, I'm going to show you the difference between uh, both of them. So today I'm here, I was searching for any scene or any tree that let you know that we are in spring and as I was driving here I put my car actually so far away as I was driving here I saw this group of trees I have a group of tree here all of them white trees and they are perfect to, to, to let you know that we are in spring so I'm going to take uh, like always when we are going to make a comparison or a comparison I am going to make the same photo without any filter and after that with the shimmer filter and after that with the black mist filter I'm going to show you the difference between them and at the same time I'm going to talk about when and how to use them so as you can see now I'm so close to the trees to the group of trees I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take the first photo here I don't need any tripod actually because my shutter speed is so fast it's uh, 1600 of the second but I am putting my camera on a tripod because I want to take the exact same photo without any filter and after that with the shimmer diffusion filter and after that with the black mist filter and I'm going to show you a, compar a comparison between the three photos If we look closely to the light source in this photo here, which is without any filter, and we try to compare it with the second photo which is taken with the shimmer filter 1, you can clearly see that the light source in the second photo is softer and it's more like dreamy effect. Even if we look on the shade areas, we found that the shade when we are using the shimmer filter is also softer and less contrast than the photo without any filter. Now this photo is taken with the black mist filter. As you can see if we compare it with the shimmer filter you find the same effect but in the shimmer filter is a lot more visible. Obviously because the shimmer filter is one and the black mist filter is one fourth. For me, as I could see, the shimmer diffusing filter gave me more softness in the light source of the photo. So this is the, the, the main or the most important thing I want to talk about today is that when you want to use these both filters, the most important thing is that you have a very clear light source in your photo. For example, today is a little bit cloudy and if I took the same photo here as it was sunny and not cloudy you would see the, the effect more more visible in the photo and that's why I for me what I think the most uh, usable way to use this filter is to have a very clear and visible light source in your photo if you want for example let's say like today it's cloudy and you want to take the photo in a shade area without any uh, for example any visible light source for example the last photo the the light source which is the, which is the sky was visible and that's why we could see the effect of the filter but let's say that i want to take the photo in shade area without any um, visible light source in the photo the effect of the filter won't be so visible like having a very specific light source so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to be closer to the to these flowers, if I can call, it, call them flowers actually. I want to be so close and I want to try to take a close-up 
and the background will be the sky and in this method you will see how beautiful the effect of these filters because the light source will be so big in the photo and will be uh, you know in the background out of focus and the softness of this uh, light source will be so beautiful i will try that right now and i will show you the result So as you could see right now in the second group of photos when I tried to make the light source so visible in the photo and the sun was a little bit shining behind the branches of this tree here and I have in the foreground this small branch and the background I had a little bit of bokeh and a little bit of the sun shining behind uh, the branches the effect of the filters was so more visible a lot, a lot more visible than the first photo here where I had the sky in the photo the light source was in the photo but was a little bit soft because of the clouds and there were no sunlight so as I mentioned this is the main reason of using the the filters when you have a very specific light source in your photo let's say for example that you are taking a portrait photo on the sunrise or the, on the sunset when the, the the sun is behind your subject the the softness of the, or the the effect or the softness of the filter will be so beautiful and at the same time if you are taking for example city city photos at night when you know the city light are so beautiful and so bright at the same time when you are using the filter the city light will be so soft like if you are taking the photos during the fog So at the end, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope I could make it clear for you to decide between the both filters. Now, for me, the main difference between them, which is obvious that the shimmer filter, the shimmer diffusion one, is uh, uh, the softness, the softness that it gives is more visible and the effect is more visible than the black mist or the black diffusion filter one fourth. That is obvious. And what I want also to try, I want to try these filters when the weather is foggy. I think, I think they will make the fog more visible when you are going to use them when there's a lot of fog in the weather. I, I think they are going to make the fog more and more visible. So thanks a lot again for watching. Please consider subscribing if you are not already. And see you in the next video. Bye for now.